Have you heard of or seen the canoe electric cars? I am sure that they won't look like actual cars when you set your eyes on them. So say goodbye to Tesla as these cars present their design and technology beyond imagination. For this reason, let's look at the canoe electric vehicles, the designs that are different from others. But before we begin, consider subscribing to my channel and smash the bell icon to get tuned. Done. Now, let's get started. Canoe is the electric car that aims to reinvent our relationship with the automobile in 2021. For decades, there were hardly any new car manufacturers beyond the creation of brands by large groups such as GM and Toyota. It is usual for brands to disappear. In recent years, however, electric car startups have been popping up like mushrooms. The last to do so is Canoe. And it has recently presented its first car with a curious design which it hopes to market exclusively via a subscription model. Canoe's proposal is risky, and not so much because of the design of the car, a minivan with minimalist airs and an almost symmetrical design. In Canoe, they describe it as a room on wheels, but it is also quite a declaration of intent. It's a type of vehicle that until now we've only seen in concept car form, like the Renault EZ Go. While the canoe isn't quite in the commercialization phase yet, it will be in 2021, but it's also a functional design. The canoe's dimensions are those of an American compact, which to us would be something like a BMW 3 Series or Lexus is, and yet it offers ample space for seven passengers. By the way, at the moment, it only equips Addis-type driving assistance systems, that is, it is at level 2 of autonomous driving, like almost all manufacturers, and they aspire to reach level 3 shortly. Tesla can do two skateboard-type chassis and cells. The base structure is that of a skateboard that integrates the battery and the motors. The battery has the same 2170 cylindrical cells that gave Tesla such good results. Canoe announces that its battery will have a nominal capacity of 80 kilowatt hour with a range of 250 miles, 400 kilometers, and the ability to charge to 80% in 30 minutes. Most of the electric car startups, and not so startups, on the other side of the pond, seem to see the scooter or skateboard type structure as the ideal way to create all kinds of cars. And it is that with a bi-wire electric steering, Although with mechanical redundancy, as established by the homologation standards, and all the automotive train hidden in the skateboard, designers have almost absolute freedom when it comes to creating the type of bodywork that will go on the structure, exclusively via subscription. The first of these cars is the minivan presented here. It will be available first in California and later in the large coastal cities of the United States exclusively by subscription and that is the biggest risk that the company runs, its business model. Canoe's idea is not to offer a subscription service like those that currently exist, such as Pasha Passport in the United States or Care by Volvo in Europe. The idea of Canoe is very similar to that of a car-sharing service in the style of Car2Go or A-Move, with the exception that you don't have to share the car, it's like it's yours. Canoe foresees that all the formalities, from insurance and maintenance to the management of charging points and going through all the necessary paperwork, will be managed via a single app and a single digital form. The idea is that the client subscribes via mobile and Canoe is in charge of taking the car home. There will be no minimum subscription time. The customer could return the car after two days or two years. Canoe without a factory and without the intention of having it. Another point that differentiates Canoe from other startups is the production of the car. Canoe does not have a factory nor does it claim to have one. Since many of his team come from the automotive industry, they know what it takes to build a car and so they will outsource the production. They don't want it to happen to them like Tesla and its bottlenecks. It is something relatively common in the automotive industry. The largest subcontracted manufacturer is Magnus Deer, which manufactures, for example, in Europe, the Jaguar I-Pace, a series of models for BMW and the Mercedes G-Class, and it is most likely that it will finally be Magnus Deer, precisely. Canoe also differs from other startups because of who forms it and because of its business model. Founded by former BMW executives, including Ulrich Kranz, former BMW chief designer, after briefly working for Faraday Future, Canoe represents the great hopes of a new approach to electric mobility, 
but must also respond to the great question of whether a subscription-only business model can be viable. Depending on how the market accepts the canoe, we will see if there is finally a real change in the reality of the market. That is, if the payment for use of a product is imposed with a subscription model, and the market abandons the idea of owning a product, either by buying it or via renting, leasing, or financing. Canoe's Unusual Sales Plan After several problems with this matter, in which Faraday Future even sued Canoe, formerly known as EV Elaw City, for alleged theft of confidential information, it was not an obstacle for Canoe to move forward. The company reported a $1 billion gross last year, and so we come to the present, with the presentation of its first electric vehicle with a retro look, but which, in turn, is very futuristic. The most curious thing about the vehicle is that it is not possible to buy it, being only available by subscription. Although without many details about it, we know that it is an electric vehicle with an approximate autonomy of about 400 kilometers in the EPA cycle. In addition, it is also known that it has fast charging, allowing a charge of up to 80% in less than 30 minutes. It has autonomous level two technology, which is made possible thanks to its software and the seven cameras, five radars, and 12 ultrasonic sensors that it integrates. Contrary to what was indicated above, the canoe does not have any screen inside, since the company is committed to allowing the occupants to use their own devices. This is how Richard Kim, former FF design lead and now canoe design manager, describes the vehicle. Why canoe electric vehicles? Cars have always been designed to convey a certain image and emotion. However, the company has chosen to completely rethink the design of the car and focus on what future users will need. So they came up with this loft-inspired vehicle. By subscribing, you think differently about a car. Now the value is defined by user benefit. They implement the Bauhaus philosophy, which focuses on minimalism and functionality, and start with a reduction to the absolute minimum. They then applied that approach to seamless connectivity to the personal devices customers care about most, their phones. A point to note is that the control of the vehicle will be carried out by electrical signals. That is, according to the company, the canoe will be the first true steering by wire vehicle on the market without a hardware connection between the steering wheel and wheels. As for the design, the truth is that despite having only level two autonomous technology, it seems to be geared towards fully autonomous driving, given its shapes and interior space. In the images, you can see the vehicle in both white and black. The vehicles are currently undergoing a test program with plans to launch the production version for subscription, which had already started in Los Angeles last year. I hope you like this video. If yes, kindly click the like button and consider subscribing to my channel. And don't forget to smash the bell icon to get notified. See you in the next video. Thanks.